were hanging out with Mike of Disturbed. So many thanks for your time. Much Thank appreciated. You. Thank you. Um, so Disturbed has always really, really connected with their listeners. You see that in the fan art and you just, you know, it's, it's, it runs deep, but I feel that after evolution, it's like a whole next level. Are you seeing that? Are you feeling that? Like it? Yeah. Yeah, we are, we are seeing it and we are experiencing it every night. Um, it starts out usually earlier in the day, we'll do a, a meet and greet with a lot of the fans and they come and they show us these tattoos that they have. Um, they give us letters about their experiences that they're having in life and, and how they've used the music to get through. Um, some of them break down crying and we get hugs and it's just overwhelming, but it's amazing at the same time. And then we go out on stage and and we have all these moments and, and people are crying and you just it's 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 incredible it's overwhelming how do you like keep your composure how do you keep your energy <laughs> I, I was gonna say are you like back there crying hiding behind the drum i'm not gonna lie yes there's m many many nights and and not even just myself on the drums like you you'll you'll see dan and david and john up there on their stools if they're doing the acoustic guitars and and you, you can't none of this is contrived we're 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 speaking from our hearts and and it's a personal experience um i lost my brother three years ago to, to drug and alcohol addiction and and so it's very very personal for me and when we're out there and we're sharing that energy and we i see people crying and it, it's just like i never thought when we wrote the song that i would be using it myself to, to help to cope interesting yeah i was gonna ask you because disturbs music is so healing obviously a reason to fight again next level it does so much for so many. So I was going to ask you, what is that song for you that's helped you through kind of like your toughest of times? Uh, I guess reason to fight right now uh, is is huge just because of my brother. Um, and I'll also hold on to memories is, is another big one, too. We have like a, a sort of a segment in the set where we we have the little bit of the, the, the stripped down version of those songs and Sound of Silence as well. Uh, the Light is another one. Um, Again, it's it's. I can't even necessarily say it's about one one song. It's it's more so just the whole experience. Yeah. Um, I I, th I really like the way that we've built our set, and again, it's just really like that interaction, watching like being able to see people's faces and and seeing them sing and cry and the passion and and I'm not uh, grown men like big like Harley looking dudes yeah, like scary. they're like they're they're crying like you know tearing up and it's just like it's uh, almost hard to comprehend sometimes to be honest with you but it's just feels really re rewarding and and i don't know it makes us feel good that we're helping people in that regard such a major way helping so many um speaking of your brother you recently got a tattoo i did, I did yes what, how what just what made you decide to do that now three years later okay yeah, you're gonna make me all go there no, see I'm sorry no no it's it's okay um so, yeah, so he passed away uh, a little over three years ago. May 6th was the anniversary of his death. And I think when it first happened, the first couple of years, I was in a little bit of denial. I just kind of shut it out, just wasn't really able to cope with it. And I think the irony was as we started to tour on this record and the experiences we were just speaking of with the, with the fans, watching them break down and have their moments started to open up my mind and my heart to be able to cope with it for the first time myself. And it was just so crazy. I, I, he was always big in the tattoos as well. And I thought one amazing way to honor him, um, cause I never got a chance to say goodbye was to get his portrait. So I, I sought out what one of the best portrait artists in the world. And it's such a long story, but it was crazy because, um, usually those people are, are booked sometimes years in advance. And but you're Mike from Disturbed. Well, I, I was definitely using that to try and trying to get in there. Uh, luckily, she was able to get me in, and it was crazy because I was on her table getting inked on that day, the very three-year anniversary. I was getting inked, and it was just such a, a emotional, um, but healing experience as well. So it's like destiny, like it was meant to be. I it's something I, I think that my brother was looking out and he 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 tried to help me make that happen because i don't know how the stars aligned in that manner it's something like that a, a divine presence must have interfered somehow I don't, I don't know but that's not your latest tattoo 
Uh, it's my second newest tattoo. It's your that, second that, newest that was, tattoo. That was the newest tattoo. So I was trying to figure out what exactly is going on with the latest tattoo. It's there. uh, it's like a, it's just a freehand skull. Those are the eyes and the nose, and that's kind of the mouth, sort Which of. Which part's up? <laughs> okay. Yeah. All right. It's cool looking. Yeah. Thanks. I like it. All right. It's you called it. What'd you call it? Your uh, world European world tour of tattooing or something. Yeah, I think I made a joke about. Uh, <laughs> I'm glad we can squeeze a few shows in between yeah, my tattoo tour. sessions I as we toured. Da- Danny went and got a tattoo uh, in Manchester. I got this one in London from an artist from South Korea. I got this one in Germany from the artist in Russia. Um, I think for me it all sort of ties back in with the experiences we're talking about. Um, the, yeah, don't get me wrong, you know, getting a tattoo hurts, but I think it, uh, the endorphins that are released and the, the meaning behind the tattoo, especially the one for my brother, is just also very healing. I, I don't know, it, it, you're a, I was able to take my mind and, and sort of get past this wall, I guess, and sort of release... Um, I don't know. It sounds a little corny, maybe, but no, it doesn't. Actually, it makes perfect sense. It it really does. It really does. Um, shifting gears to a lighter, brighter topic. Um, recently, I don't that disturb like David Draymond twin oh. earlier this <laughs> week that was pulled on stage. It yeah. looks just like him. I know, right? So the thought of having two David Draymonds in Disturbed. <laughs> what's the first thing you think of if you had to have two David Draymonds in Disturbed? Um, <laughs> twice the amount of waka kakas. I don't know. <laughs> That's funny. He really, really looked like him. It, it blew us away because we, we had saw him a couple of shows. Like he was in London and we saw him in Manchester. It was like, he, st- he sticks out. I mean, not, not too many yeah. David Draymond lookalikes are wandering around in the crowd. And I think what helped draw the attention to it was he posted on Twitter that he was out in the crowd and fans were thinking it was him. And they, so they were taking pictures with him ah, and you know, he's posting. He's like, Hey, look at me. So that's funny. He could use that to his advantage. Yeah, yeah I know. Right. Like, hey. That could be dangerous. <laughs> um, Next thing you know, David's getting in trouble with his wife. Exactly. Right? Where were you? I saw him a picture. Where right. No, um, no more is the next single. So what can you tell us about how that song came together? Uh, that one was just, us in the studio um, trying to think outside the box, um, just come up with a little bit of a different rhythm, a um, little bit of a, a, of a shuffle type of beat to it, a little, little pep in the step type of song, um, and it just kind of came together quick. Um, that, one, that one was written in the studio, sort of on the fly. It just kind of came together quick, and we loved it, and it uh, just kind of grew into this big monster for us. Do you like playing the slower stuff? I, I, I like playing it, playing it all. I like playing the faster, challenging stuff, but I also like just laying back and, and, and just laying the groove down. 